All right. So, you know, you said us a whole bunch of stuff about the future of pest control. Yeah. And honestly, I thought it was going to be kind of boring. Like, how interesting can bugs really be? Right. But then I started reading, and whoa, this stuff is wild. We're talking AI, drones, ladybugs as weapons. It's like pest control is becoming straight up science fiction. It really is. And you know what really struck me looking at what you sent over? It's how much bigger than just bugs this all is. Okay, I'm intrigued. How so? Well, you've got articles in here about how climate change is going to totally shake things up for pest control. Oh, yeah, with warmer temperatures and stuff, right? Exactly. And then there's the whole issue of cities. Like, how do you deal with millions of people all crammed together? And all the pests that come with them. Okay, so where do we even start with all of this? There's a lot to unpack here. Let's start with something that's already changing the game. Smart traps. You heard about these things? Yeah, a few of the articles mention them, but honestly, I'm picturing like sticky tracks with Bluetooth or something. What makes them so smart? Think of it this way. Imagine your mousetrap was basically a tiny computer. Okay. These traps use sensors not just to catch a pest, but to actually send alerts to pest control experts. Wait, so instead of me finding a dead rat in my basement, some exterminator gets a text message? Pretty much. They get real-time updates on what kind of pests were active, where they are, it's wild. So it's not even about setting traps anymore. It's like this whole surveillance network that's kind of creepy, but also kind of amazing. That's just the start. All that data these traps collect, that's where things get really interesting. How so? Pest control companies can use it to analyze patterns and predict where infestations might happen before they even start. So it's not even about reacting anymore. It's about getting ahead of the game entirely. You got it. And that kind of thinking, that proactive approach, it's at the heart of what a lot of your articles call Integrated Pest Management, or IPM for short. IPM? Yeah, I saw that a few times. What is that exactly? It's this idea that instead of just defaulting to spraying pesticides everywhere, you step back and look at the whole picture. Okay. Like, why are these pests attracted to this particular place? Yeah. What can we change about the environment to make it less appealing to them? So instead of waging war on every ant in a five-mile radius... You figure out how to create an environment where they won't even want to set up shop in the first place. Exactly. It might involve changing up the landscaping, introducing natural predators like ladybugs, even just a adjusting the way you clean. Okay, so that's where the weaponized ladybugs come in. I got to be honest. That was one of the things that really caught my eye when I was skimming these articles. Right. Ladybugs are adorable, but I never thought of them as like pest fighting machines. Turns out they're surprisingly good at controlling aphids and other garden pests. But speaking of challenges, your articles also paint a pretty intense picture of how climate change is going to make things even more complicated. Yeah, I was going to say, we can't talk about the future without talking about climate change. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Warmer temperatures, weirder weather patterns. It's like a free-for-all for pests to spread to new areas, potentially bringing diseases with them. Didn't one of these articles mention something about mosquitoes carrying Zika moving to higher altitudes as the planet warms up? Yeah, and that's just one example. It's a huge concern. So how is the pest control industry supposed to keep up with all of this? Like, you're fighting an uphill battle against a constantly changing enemy. It's definitely a challenge, but the industry's adapting. You know, one area where we're seeing a lot of innovation is in the development of plant-based pesticides. Oh, interesting. Tell me more about that. So imagine a pesticide that's just as effective as the chemical stuff, but it's made from plants. So it's gentler on the environment. Exactly. Yep. It's like we're entering this era of organic pest control, which is a pretty wild thing to think about. <laughs> and it's not just about the pesticides themselves. You know, One of the articles you sent, it talked about how cities are having to completely rethink pest control. Yeah, it makes sense. More people, more buildings, more problems, right? Right. But it's actually really cool what they're doing. They're starting to incorporate pest control into the actual design of cities. Wait, really? As in, like, before the first brick is even laid? Exactly. They're using all these rodent-proof building materials, putting screens on vents, even thinking about landscaping in a way that deters pests. It's a whole new way of looking at things. So you're telling me that my future apartment building might actually be designed to keep the roaches out? That would be a dream come true. Yeah, hey, you never know. Yeah. Even if you're not moving into a brand new building, there's still hope. Oh, how so? One of your articles mentioned they're starting to use thermal imaging 
to detect pests. Hold on, thermal imaging. Like the thing they use to find people in the dark? Yep, that's the one. I had no idea they could use that for bugs. It's actually super effective. Right. You can find termites hiding in walls, bed bugs, and furniture. You don't have to tear everything apart to find them. Wow, that's incredible. So they can just point this device at your house and be like, yep, you've got termites in the living room. Pretty much, and it's totally non-invasive, so you don't have to worry about them tearing up your walls for no reason. Okay, that's definitely one of the coolest things I've learned today. But all this high-tech stuff, I can't help but wonder, what does it mean for the actual people doing pest control? Are we going to have robot exterminators soon? I don't think we're at robot exterminators quite yet, but you do bring up a good point. The skills needed for this job are changing fast. Yeah, I bet. It's not just about knowing what chemicals to spray anymore, huh? Exactly. Now you need people who can analyze data, understand complex systems, and basically be consultants to their clients. Consultants. So instead of calling the exterminator, I'm going to have a pest control advisor. Think of it like this. They'll come to your place, figure out exactly what you need, and then create a custom plan just for you. No more one-size-fits-all solutions. That actually sounds kind of amazing. It's the future of pest control. Mm. But of course, all this fancy technology and personalized service, it probably doesn't come cheap. That's what I was thinking. It's great if you can afford it, but what about everyone else? That's a really important concern and something that a few of these articles actually addressed. Because if only the wealthy can afford effective pest control. Then it just exacerbates existing inequalities, right? Exactly. Access to safe and effective pest control, it's becoming a social justice issue. It makes you think about things like if certain neighborhoods are more likely to have infestations, that can lead to health problems, lower property values, all these cascading effects. Absolutely. It's all connected. But, you know, it's not all doom and gloom. A lot of these articles, they were actually pretty optimistic about the future of pest control. Oh, yeah. In what way? Well, it seems like the industry is really starting to take these challenges seriously. They're investing in new technologies, finding more sustainable solutions, and really thinking about the bigger picture. So it's like, yeah, there are challenges, but there's also this sense of like, okay, we got this. Exactly. But it's not just up to the industry to figure it out. Us regular folks, we have a role to play too. Ooh, what can we do? I'm all ears. Okay, so what can we do? I mean, beyond just calling an exterminator when we see a cockroach. Well, for one, we gotta be smarter consumers. You know, okay, well, what way? Like, don't just go with the cheapest pest control company you can find. Do some research. So what should we be looking for? Ask about their practices. Do they care about sustainability? Mm -hmm. What's their stance on pesticide resistance? Find a company that aligns with, you know, your values. So it's not just about getting rid of the pests. It's about the bigger picture, right? Exactly. And don't be afraid to get your hands a little dirty, literally. What do you mean? There's so much you can do around your own home to discourage pests. Keep your kitchen clean, seal up any cracks or gaps where they could get in. Basic stuff, but it makes a difference. It really does. Even just choosing pest-resistant plants for your garden can make a huge difference. Like opting for the types of plants that bugs naturally don't like. Exactly. So much of this is about prevention, yeah. you know? Right, because once you've got a full-blown infestation, it's a much bigger problem to deal with. Exactly. And that's something I really hope listeners take away from this whole conversation. What's that? Pest control. Mm -hmm. It's not just about bugs. Like, not even close. Yeah, we've talked about climate change, social justice urban planning. It's kind of mind-blowing when you think about it. It's this weird lens through which you can see all these huge, complex issues facing the world today. And pest control is changing right along with it, trying to find new solutions, adapt to new challenges. It's pretty amazing, actually. It really is. It makes you think about the future a little differently, doesn't it? It definitely does. Well, on that note, I think we've covered a lot of ground today. Yeah, we have. Listener, you gave us a lot to think about with all those articles and reports you sent. It's been a quite a deep dive. And who knows what new innovations we'll see by 2025, right? Exactly. It's an exciting time to be a, t well, maybe not an exterminator, but you know what I mean. A pest control professional. There you oh. go. All right. On that note, we'll wrap up this episode of the deep dive. Until next time, keep it clean, keep it green, and try not to let the bugs bite.